Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are keeping well. I'm back with another white outfit and another boho chic jewelry kind of a look and another one of my Indian traditional everyday makeup looks. So fun fact about me, मुझे ना काजल बहुत ज़्यादा पसंद है जब मैं एट या नाइन्थ क्लास में थी ना तब से मैं काजल पहनती आ रही हूँ रिलीजियसली पहनती आ रही हूँ उस वक्त में ना हमारे स्कूल्स में काजल पहनना अलाउड भी नहीं था फिर भी मैं अपने टीचर से लड़के झगड़ के काजल डेफिनेटली पहनती थी मुझे काजल इतना पसंद था कि मुझे कुछ नहीं करना होता था ना फिर भी मैं काजल ज़रूर पहनती थी ओवर द ईयर्स मैंने काजल पहनना थोड़ा सा कम कर दिया बट माई लव फॉर काजल हैज़ बिन देयर फॉर एवर जब भी मैं इंस्टाग्राम पर या यूट्यूब पर किसी को यू नो बोल्ड हैवी काजल लुक में देखती हूँ ना आई इंस्ट Instantly fall in love with them, and I wanted to do one heavy bold kajal look for an everyday basis myself, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing in today's video. So let's get started with today's video. And before that, if you've not subscribed to my channel already, please do like and share my videos. And let's get started with today's video. First step definitely prepping my face. I need a good layer of hydration, and for that I'm taking my Elf Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Just a few pumps of it into my palm, and I'm going to apply it all over my face for that extra. लेयर ऑफ हाइड्रेशन एंड मॉइस्चराइजेशन ना माशा डार्क सर्कल्स तो कम होने का नाम ही नहीं ले रहे हैं सो so, इनको कवर करते हैं विद माई सिफोरा कलेक्शन बेस्ट के नवर कंसीलर इन द शेड नंबर थर्टी सेवन सिर्फ हल्का हल्का सा जहाँ जहाँ पर मुझे सबसे ज़्यादा जरूरत है दैट इज ऑन एंड अराउंड माई आई एरिया एंड अराउंड माई माउथ एरिया Now for the foundation, I'm taking my Cover FX Power Play foundation in the shade G40. It's one of my absolute, absolute favorite foundations. I haven't used it in quite a long time, but it's a beautiful foundation, perfect for an everyday basis. It comes in a squeezy tube kind of a uh, packing, and it's perfect to be carried around for any travel or anything like that. And it's a beautiful foundation. It gives you such a nice medium-ish coverage. but still looks just like your skin but better and i 100% love love this foundation from cover fx next up for the concealer again from cover fx i'm taking the power play concealer in the shade n medium 2 the packaging is a smaller version of the foundation and this again is a beautiful 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 concealer it blends out like a dream it's super creamy does not look heavy or cakey on your under eyes at all and again gives you a nice medium to a fuller coverage and uh, i mean it's a dream to work with the formula is really nice the blendability the lasting power everything about this concealer is just phenomenal and lastly again to set my base i'm taking my cover fx matte setting powder this is the first ever high end powder that i bought for myself and i one 100% love love this powder it is such a lightweight powder it's so finely milled it sets your makeup so nicely without it looking powdery at all and the texture and everything literally everything about this powder is just phenomenal and then before moving on to the rest of the makeup i'm going to quickly go ahead and fill in my brows of the camera and i'm back now let's finish off the rest of the face makeup before i move on to the eyes i'm going to bronze my face first with my benefit hula bronzer just like always i'm going to use it on the hollows of my cheeks and along my jawline and on the temples of my forehead and on the sides of my nose For the blush, I'm taking one of my absolute, absolute favorites of all time. This is my Bobbi Brown powder blush in the shade Tony. It is a beautiful neutral pink blush and adds such a nice and a very, very, very natural looking flush of color to the face. Now, coming on to the eyes. I'm taking my Kiko Milano Intense Color Long Lasting Eyeliner in the shade number 16. This is the star of the show today, so I am going to use it you know generously on my eyes. I'm going to use it to line my waterline and I'm going to press it really hard to get a very 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 thick line along with the lower lash line. If you press it really hard when you apply it, it also goes on the outside of your waterline, which is exactly what I want to do. and then i'm going to you know line it along with the lower lash line on the outside of the lower lash line to get that even more nice and an intense thick kajal look mm -hmm. 
Now I'm not going to be using any eyeliner along with my upper lash line, but make sure that you line your upper water line with the kajal so that the pinkness of your upper water line does not peek through your mascara. Now I told you guys in this video that I have been loving a nice neutral eyeshadow even on an everyday basis and to add a hint of a color on my eyelids I'm taking my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette and I'm taking this neutral brown shade and with a fluffy blending brush I'm going to apply it literally all over the eyelids just to add a hint of color. And lastly, definitely a lot of mascara. I'm taking my MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara and I'm just loading up my eyelashes with this. Now to add a hint of highlight, I'm not going to add a lot of highlighter because it's hot and humid. So you get naturally highlighted throughout the day. But just to add a hint of highlight, I'm taking my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Rose Gold. And I'm applying it mainly along with my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes. And the teeniest, tiniest bit on the highest points of my face. And lastly for the lips I'm going to add a nice nude neutral brown and for that I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Lee Mark lip cream in the shade J'adore. I made a full on video dedicated to this lipstick. I have showed you guys 10 dupes that you can find in India for this lipstick. It's a classic brown nude, not too warm, not too cool and uh, it's absolutely stunning to be worn on an everyday basis. Lastly, obviously Indian makeup look. Hai. How can it be complete without a bindi? So I'm adding a plain black bindi to finish off the look. And the last and final step, just a little bit of a spritz of my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Just a hint of it to melt everything in. And well that is it guys, this is the final finished makeup look. Such a classic and you know very 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 simple makeup look i mean it's very simple to kya yoga kuch bhi nahi kiya hai apne eyes pe just a beautiful kajal and i mean you are good to go you can wear it on an everyday basis you can wear it on a special occasion and literally just anywhere it's a classic and will look good on just every one of you guys i hope you guys enjoy watching my videos if you do please like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye bye